So somebody asked me to do a real quick, uh, or a video on my, uh, Porcelio Spatulatus. Um, my camera is overheating and running out of battery, so this is going to be real quick. Um, I might do a more elaborate care video later on, but, um, this is a really interesting species, um, from, I believe they're from Spain, but don't quote me on that, I don't really remember. Um, but they're real flat, like little tanks, these guys, they're little sharp edgy edges. Um, I like them a lot. Care for them is more or less the same as all the other Spanish isopods. They like it a tad on the drier side. Um, I still give them one half that's moist. I always find them on this uh, lichenous oak bark. Just some old stuff that's starting to rot. It has lots of lichen on it. They seem to really appreciate that. Um, they like their protein, um, like their fish pellets and stuff. Um, they also occasionally nibble on squash and pumpkin. Um, but yeah, not, um, not a very super difficult species at all. They're just slow growers and, um, they take a little while to really get going when it comes to reproducing. Um, but once they do have their broods, they, they, they get going pretty quick. But, uh, yeah, really neat looking. Um, under the right light, some of them have like a kind of a, almost a blue metal-y tinge to them. Um, which doesn't really show up right now because of the lighting that I have and, um, the size that they are, but yeah. So, uh, this is them. Really cool looking. Their, uh, setup isn't really a, a whole lot different than all of my other isopods. Let me take this ma macro lens off and I'll show you. So this is it. It's another tall shoebox from the container store. A couple inches of substrate. Substrate's mostly, um, I use the same substrate mix for pretty much anything. It's peat moss compost soil earthworm castings and uh crushed up leaves mix in there along with some uh eggshells um but yeah i always find them on the oak the rotting oak that's what they like to hang out on best um i also give them lots of flat stuff to hide under um like the this is a uh, palm bark but they don't seem to care for it i might take it out they seem to be pretty happy with just the oak um but yeah um not a very uh super difficult species to care for at all um, they're actually relatively simple just make sure um, to give them plenty of ventilation like all the Spanish isopod species and not to keep them too wet um, or too dry um, it's all about a balance you know they, they need to have a gradient of one to go over um, as they so please but uh, yeah that's about it if you have any extra questions about them, I'll be free to answer them, but um, I'm probably going to do a more detailed video on them later on down the line. But uh, yeah, have a good one. Like, comment, share, subscribe.